Well, diabetic coma is a very uh, common uh, lay term that people use for a change in mental status associated with some complication of diabetes. But those people who are familiar with diabetes know that um, both a very severe low blood sugar or a very high blood sugar uh, might cause a change in mental status, therefore coma. Uh, the most common type of diabetic coma that we talk about is when your blood sugars go very low. The brain requires glucose to work on a regular basis and when it doesn't get it, it doesn't have another alternative fuel to use. So the brain actually is dysfunctioning or not working well. And that occurs with a change in uh, your level of consciousness if it becomes severe. Generally, there are earlier side effect or symptoms of uh, hypoglycemia that precede a loss of consciousness that may allow a person to recognize that they're having a, an episode of hypoglycemia. These symptoms include uh, having sweating, rapid heart rate, palpitations, extreme hunger. Sometimes people talk about a narrowing in their field of vision. These things all occur before a person will actually lose consciousness. When it does, though, the patient can be uh, resuscitated by administering glucose. We try to uh, have people recognize this and use oral forms of glucose to bring their blood sugars back. Um, but if they become so uh, uh, compromised and can't eat anything, um, there is a, a medicine that we give called glucagon. It comes in a kit that another family member or uh, a significant other can give the, the patient that has severe hypoglycemia to bring them back. The other form of diabetic coma is much less common and occurs in older individuals over 70 who have type 2 diabetes. And when they have type 2 diabetes uh, associated with another infection like pneumonia, um, very often it can be the first manifestation of diabetes. In this particular situation, blood sugars can go from anywhere to 800 to 1200 milligrams per deciliter, which are uh, 12, 14 times normal, uh, what we usually see. And at those levels, what ha actually happens is that the fluid in the brain cells actually moves outside of the nerves and causes dysfunction. This is a medical emergency and needs to be treated in an ICU or emergency room setting by the administration of aggressive fluid uh, administration and insulin.